Hey guys, Tez here, and I've got a game of domination for you on the map bootleg today. It's using the Barrett 50 cal, and at the moment, because I just prestiged, I haven't got very many attachments, so excuse me for using the heartbeat sensor. I know a lot of people in the sniping community uh, complain about people using the heartbeat sensor, but I didn't have any other attachments, and I thought, you know what the hell, I'll just use it. I have extended mags now, so that's what I'll be using. But, at the moment, I am a low level, well, I say low, I'm about level 44 or something. But, I'm using the specialist point streak bonus because the Barrett without speed for me is really sluggish and slow and I hate it. So, using the specialist point streaks, once I get my 7th kill, because I'm using hardline as always, once I get my 7th kill, I actually unlock all the locked gun proficiencies so I will automatically get speed when I get seven kills and it, it kind of means it feels a little bit better for me and I enjoy playing with the Barrett more but throughout this game you'll see me running back and forth and I think I get a triple feed yeah I was waiting for the fourth guy to come around the corner but he never did until then but you'll see me running back and forth between A, B and then I might go over to C every now and again just to cap it to help my team out but I'll s mostly be keeping to this side of the map. I find a lot of success over here where people will be running out of A towards me or through to B and I can easily pick them off from behind this bunch of bricks. But I tend to stick around here or I'll move up into B and go through into the middle room. You'll see me go through there a few times in a minute or so and I'll die a couple times but I do end up getting up there and looking over at the balcony to see. I'll point it out when I actually get there in a little while. But I run up here and die now, and then in a few minutes I'll, I'll get up there. But I kind of wanted to do this commentary because I haven't actually done a regular commentary in, in quite a long time. I've done a few live comms. I did the In the Mind of that I put up yesterday, or today when I'm recording, but yesterday on YouTube time. So I, put, I did that one. I did my Bakara live commentary and I think I did a live com before that one so this is the first first actual commentary that I've done in quite a while where I'm sitting down and I'm watching the gameplay along with you whilst commentating so I just wanted to, to go kind of back to how it started and to kind of give you a, a little chat of what's been happening I know I've done quite a few of these but I was gonna I was gonna tell you a, kind of like a little bit of a funny story about what happened this morning and also what I might have planned for the future not really the future of this channel, but for a future video. Hopefully you'll enjoy that. So I'm gonna start by basically telling you what happened this morning. So I woke up and it's really nice and warm in my bed. And then I'm sure you guys will, will know exactly what I'm talking about. When you try and get out of bed, it's a lot colder outside of your covers. And I hate that feeling when you're nice and warm and you know that you've got to go out of your bed to get cold, to get dressed. But basically I had to wake up at seven o'clock this morning, get out of my bed, get dressed, and, and go to university by 8, or at least catch the bus for 8. And I hate the cold. I absolutely hate the cold. At the moment, I am wearing, let me count, one, two, four layers, and I'm just about warm. I'm wearing a thermal, I'm wearing a shirt, like a, a polo top, I'm wearing a jumper, and like a hoodie. And a scarf, I forgot about that. And a scarf. And at the moment, I'm kind of warm, but I keep getting a little chill, so I don't know if I'm getting a cold or something or a fever or I don't know but all the time I am chilly it's it's not good in my house it's freezing we have a, a fairly large house to normal I'm not trying to boast or anything but compared to to the average house we have quite a a decent sized house and because of that heating ugh, our boilers buggered anyway or, or crap anyway so it's always cold and I just want to point out here, I failed to cap A, but because we capped C, I decided to let them have a spawn point, so I legged it out of there. But as I was saying, our boiler in our house, which controls the heating and everything, is crap. It constantly breaks, and it's always cold in our house, so I'm always chilly, so I wear quite a lot of clothes. But moving on with my, my tale of the day, I, I got the bus. I, I had to wait for ages because the bus was late as usual, so I was outside in the freezing cold listening to my iPod on one headphone because I've broken the other one apparently and I do think I've actually just broken both headphones so I might need to get a new pair but I was waiting for the bus at the bus stop took in my laptop with me today on a Tuesday and basically I got the bus took about 50 minutes to get into the town to get me to uni there's a lot of traffic in the mornings which sucks so it took about 50 minutes to an hour 
Then I walked to the university, got to my lecture, sat at the top back of the, the lecture hall, right at the back so I wasn't disturbed by anybody, and basically turned my laptop on, listened to what the lecturer was saying for about 20 minutes, and then didn't really understand much what he was talking about because I've missed quite a few lessons. But I brought up the PowerPoint he was going over on, on my computer because uh, there's a website that we use and you can get it that way. So I did that and I was kind of moseying on, on through, looking through the slides. I got to about the fifth or sixth slide and just could not understand the word he was saying. And it didn't make sense when he was explaining it. So yeah, for the rest of that hour, I kind of was just on Facebook, YouTube, Hotmail, you know, the usual sites that you'd go to whilst you're bored at home or just doing your daily thing. See, I didn't really do much at uni this morning. And he finished his lecture about an hour early. It's supposed to be a two hour lecture in the morning. And he finished an hour early. So I had an hour to wait until my second lesson. So it would be a practical. So I didn't really do much. I, I hung about in, in the same hall. I didn't leave. I just thought, you know what, I'm sitting here on my laptop. I may as well stay. So I just carried on on my computer. Just, just randomly, just mucking around. And then when it came to the time of my next lesson, I decided to leave and go a little bit early. Just so I could maybe start the work and get home early about 1 o'clock or something. And the lesson wasn't there. So I was like, okay. So I went to the student help desk to find out where my lesson was. And they told me to wait. And I waited about 5 or 10 minutes. And I was just sitting there thinking, okay, is someone going to come over here? So I decided to leave. And I left and I went back to the classroom that the lesson was supposed to be in to see if people were just late or, or the teacher had said that we were going to be 10 minutes late. And the teacher didn't turn up and neither did the students or the people in my class. And I was like, um, so anyone going to tell me what's going on? But I, because I've been away for two weeks, I don't know if it's been moved or anything. So after that, I rang my aunt and was like, yo, what do I do? And she said that if I've gone to the help desk and everything, then there's not really much else I can do. So I got on the bus, I went home, and that was basically my, my messed up day. So I got out of bed at 7 o'clock, got the bus into uni at 8, took uh, about an hour to get there. I had a lecture from 9 until 10, and then I came home. It was the most pointless day ever, and it's the days like this where you wake up and it's cold when you get out of your bed. I absolutely hate it. So if I don't survive Christmas or winter, y you'll know why I will have died with cold. But yeah, so that was my pretty bad morning. And this guy here will not cap a flag. We're sitting on it and he's just camping away. And I sent him a message later and said, cap a fucking flag. And he went, your only flag I'll cap is your mum's. So he's, he's really, really mature. That was sarcasm. Yeah. But... So that was my morning, and then I came home, I went to see someone, we, we kind of just sat around chatting for about an hour, and then I, I came back home. Jumped on Xbox for a bit, freezing cold hands, playing Xbox when you have cold hands is the worst. You can't move your fingers, and your reaction time is so slow. Your eyes can pick up what you need to do, and you can think, oh god, got to turn. And then about five minutes later, you actually move your thumb to turn because you are so cold. So yeah. Haven't played much Xbox at the moment, I was kind of a bit bored, I wanted to wait until a few more people were on so I could play with some friends, but I'll have to wait until tonight to do that. So I thought I'd do a commentary between now and then, yeah, basically telling that little story. And that's about it, that's been my day, and I think tomorrow's going to be exactly the same, except for I actually know I do have a four hour practical tomorrow morning, so it won't be as pointless as today was. And, and that's how uni is at the moment for me, it's pretty damn pointless. But that's that, that this morning and I'm hoping that tomorrow will be a lot better and it won't be as cold. So yeah, uh, that's that and the, the kind of thing that's going to be happening in a few, maybe a week, maybe two weeks, I don't know, is someone that I know, who I've known for quite a while since the beginning of Black Ops, he has a YouTube channel and he's pretty big, he's a good player, a good commentator, I do love his videos. His name's Verbal, I think it's Verbal1781, I always get confused whether it's 1871 or 1781, but I'll leave a link in the description below. I know that if you did go over there and, and have a look, you'd absolutely love his videos and, and his commentaries, so yeah, I'd, I'd recommend going and checking him out, but he has asked or he suggested that we me and him did a, a dual live commentary and I I'm really pleased and I'm, I'm really happy to do that and I'm really excited as well 
and we're going to be doing a dual live com over some survival mode gameplay. He recently put up a video on Bakara, which is the same map that I did my survival mode gameplay on. But he recently put up a video on Bakara, and he got to quite a high round solo. He got to round 22, I think, and I got to round 19. So basically, we're gonna we're gonna hopefully try and go for quite a high round. We're gonna get a nice strategy down. Be a little campy, be a little defensive, but hopefully we'll get a nice strategy down and we'll be able to get to, to quite a high round. And then obviously. I'll post that up to my channel and, and he'll put it up on his channel as well and hopefully you guys will enjoy a video with with me and, and someone else but I definitely recommend you go over there and check his channel out also search through his videos because when black ops had just come out I think I was second prestige I managed to get 150 135 kills and three deaths and I asked him if he wanted to post it up to his channel this was before I'd even contemplated starting YouTube but I posted that, or he posted that up to his channel, and it's a really good gameplay, even though it's quite old. I, I still, if you want to go and have a, have a watch of it, then definitely do so. It's it's actually a really good video, and I want to thank him again for posting that video a year ago, and also I want to I want to basically thank you guys for constantly staying active on my channel. I'm hoping that I'm putting out stuff that you guys like, and it's good to know that the videos I do put out, people are enjoying. So th this is the end of the video, guys. I try and get the final kill cam here, nice little floor bang. But it doesn't kind of work out. I get hit marker on the second guy, and the and the game ends there. We win it 200 to 197, which is again really close. And I I don't know if I like close games like this where I have to cap all the flags, but hey ho, we got the win, and I go 42 and 11. So I'll speak to you later, guys. Bye.